hello hello welcome back to the channel it's your girl shell um as you can tell from our environment again i am vlogging my mom needed me to be her um her driver because she's getting um teeth taken out she's getting teeth pulled um and i'm bored sitting here in the parking lot in the parking lot bored so um because you know girl it's all this covid business girl i don't really want to be in there neither so as you can tell from today's title we are going to be talking about you know should women lower their standards are women's standards too high i am parked under a tree so i apologize if mm, i don't know girl there's funky shadows i apologize but anywho, let's just get into the video. I don't want this to be too long. So literally like last week or something like that, I tweeted something along the lines. And I'm not necessarily going to enter insert my tweet because um, I don't really want y'all finding me. <laughs> but I tweeted something along the lines of, you know, a lot of men didn't have fathers to teach them that women are a bill. And if you can't afford that pretty bill, that luxury bill, whatever you want to call it, bill, then you need to be by yourself. And honey, the world, like the whole world of males, of a specific demographic, okay, that whole world felt the need to jump on my motherfucking ass honey and tell me that one they didn't think I was pretty enough to be the bill and I'm speaking like I'm pretty enough to 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 be that and you know all of this and I'm just like okay this is how I know y'all don't know how to read and comprehend because never did I say that you had to do that for me obviously you need to do it for the person that you find attractive or the person that you're attracted to nonetheless them fools was lying anyways because like um <laughs> hello look at me like really you really you really want to go there you really you really want to play that game with me come on but anyways and it begged the question that i think a lot of women settle and you know they tell themselves because they see things like this so they tell themselves like oh i'll never find the guy that's gonna pay for everything i'm never gonna find the guy that's gonna cherish me and respect me enough to do this so I'm gonna go 50 50 now here's the thing with that I think a lot of women myself included because y'all I was the biggest like I don't want to say pick me but I was definitely like the biggest feminist the biggest 50 50 girl you could think of all throughout college right because I felt like that's what gave you power as a woman that's what you know what i'm saying like to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man to go 50 50. when the truth is you're never going to be a man's equal and here's why why would you want to lower yourself to be a man's equal you're already higher than him and i feel like only real ass men like full grown men full grown man understand that a woman is actually superior for lack of a better word <laughs> you know we're actually superior oh girl i gotta like move down or move up or something girl hold on girl hold on girl let me see hold on right that's a little bit better um you know, I feel like those are the men that understand, like, you know what? No, a woman is superior, and if I want to be in her presence, I need to do X, Y, and Z. Now, like I said, it was a whole demographic of a certain group of men that, you know, was protesting that idea. And I didn't understand because it's like, these are the same men that want women that look like supermodels, and they want women that look like this, and they want women that look like that. But at the same time, they're not willing to be the type of man that that woman is going to need or want. And my thing is, is like, 
they all came out the gate assuming that women that want that were like broke or something and i'm just like dude <laughs> women that are saying that if you want to be with them you need to pay all the bills they're not broke they're women that have standards and at the end of the day they can probably buy your whole fucking life like seriously they're paying their bills by themselves without you the point is if you're going to be in their presence you need to make yourself useful and to some women or women like that making yourself useful is quite frankly just going to mean you're going to pay all the fucking bills and it's just that simple there's no need to get upset with women that are saying that's their standard there's no need to get upset and get disrespectful and say weird shit like just move to the side like if that's not you homeboy move to the side like if you don't have the money to do that move to the side like it's not a problem but like i said these are the type of men or males that want high class women that want high caliber women but they want these high caliber women for the price you would pay for a dusty bitch <laughs> like baby that's not the way that's not the way this is gonna work me personally i i'm done with all that 50 50 shit like if i'm gonna be entertaining a man you need to make yourself useful to me whatever that may mean so if I say, okay, if you're serious about me, you're going to do X, Y, and Z, then he needs to do just that. You need to do X, Y, and Z, or I'm not going to be entertaining you. And yeah, there's, there's going to be a 50-50 chick that's going to entertain you, but is that going to be the woman that you really want? Nine times out of 10, it's not going to be. And they'll, men, men settle too. Like you'll settle for the 50-50 chick because you know, the woman like me isn't gonna sit around and be okay with you not pulling your weight. So yeah, you'll settle for the 50-50 chick and not think twice. But at the ending of the day, you're still going to want a woman like me and other women. Yeah, you're gonna want a woman like me. So at the ending of the day, it's like, why play, why play the game hard? It's either you can do what is asked of you if you want a certain type of woman or you can quite frankly end up settling for a 55th chick that you really don't want and then you're lurking in the corridors and you're looking everywhere to find the woman that you really want it's just that simple like i never seen a group of men get so upset honey at a woman stating her preference I never seen a group of men get so heated at a woman saying, you know what, this is my worth. I know my worth. This is my standard. It's either you're going to meet that standard or you're not going to meet that standard. And if you're not going to meet that standard, we don't have to waste time. We, You can just move on. I, I Listen, you can just keep it pushing. And that's the thing. Like, I, I feel like all of them assumed that with me saying what I said, I couldn't pay my own bills. And it's like, I already pay my bills. That's the point. <laughs> that's the point I pay my bills so if I choose to entertain you then you need to make yourself useful right if I choose to entertain you then you need to meet you need to be meeting my standards all around and I don't ask for things that I can't give myself I think a lot of these dudes again were assuming that when I said that I was speaking from a standpoint where oh I can't give myself this that and the third and I'm looking for a sponsor I'm looking for a guy that that could that's gonna give me that and it's like no everything that I'm gonna require a guy to give me I can give myself point is you want to be my presence you want to smell my air you want to taste my pussy therefore this is what you're gonna need to do it's just that simple if you don't exist I'm gonna get it myself that's not a problem but if you're gonna want me to share myself and my body with you to me i mean everyone sees sex differently to me i feel like sex is as intimate and cl uh, sex is as intimate as you can get with somebody and i feel like first of all you just you just can't be giving that with to anybody any and everybody okay i went through a phase where i was definitely like oh casual sex this casual sex that had the thoughts around it but whenever it came to like actually doing stuff like that i was just like nah that's a dub like Sex is so intimate. And I'm not here to tell any other woman how she should run her pussy, how she should run her pussy ship. Like, that's not that's not for me to do. I'm just saying, for me personally, I feel like sex is very serious. It's very personal. It's the closest, like, the closest 
bit of intimacy that you can get and I'm just not gonna I'm just not willing to do that with any and everyone simple as that I'm not willing to do that with any and everyone and at the ending of the day who might do choose to do that with they need to be hitting certain criteria, and if they're not hitting certain criteria, they can get the fuck on because there's how many there's how many billions of dicks out here like these dudes were seriously in my mentions arguing with me like arguing me zone girl and I'm just like the same way y'all like to throw numbers out there and say, oh, well, if you won't do this, there's X amount of pussies out here. Like, I'll just find another one. Good. Go find her. Please. Please go find her and get the fuck away from me. Go find her. Because I don't give a fuck. Go find her. Go find her and give her half her worth. A quarter of her worth. Go find her and shortchange her. And when you're done using her the fuck up, you're going to come right the fuck back to a bitch like me. Because you know at the ending of the day, this is what you wanted to begin with. So go use her go have your fun but you'll be back <laughs> you'll be back for a woman that knows her worth you you're gonna get tired of playing with women like that point blank period you're gonna get tired of playing with women that don't know their worth you're gonna get tired of playing with women that are shortchanging themselves because now it's gonna be like it's gonna start to feel after a while like child's play it's gonna start to feel like you're taking candy from a child so eventually you're gonna get tired of it you're gonna be like you know what i don't use her up I don't use her up past her prime. Now I'm going to find that baddie that I want. Whatever whatever that that means to you. Right? Whatever whatever a baddie means to you. That that differs from man to man. But at the ending of the day, the point being is a lot of these 50/50 chicks get left for women like myself that don't do shit. <laughs> just don't do shit but exist and look pretty. Like just don't do shit. Like we go to work cuz we have to or if we feel like it or whatever you know what i'm saying you go to work to handle your own business but at the ending of the day if you have a man pursuing you you make it clear to that man that if you want to be in my life this is what you need to do it's either you're gonna do it or you're not gonna do it and like i said if you're not gonna do it then let's not waste each other's time point blank period my period so these guys you know that was feeling the need to come come for me girl to come for my fucking neck and be like oh you're not pretty enough da, da, da. bitch beauty is subjective i don't want to be pretty to you you're broke <laughs> quite frankly i don't want to be pretty to you please leave me the fuck alone but it's dudes i know that would be breaking their neck to talk to me in real life was talking all that shit in my mentions and i'm just like you're only saying that because one, your feelings are hurt. Two, you know that you don't measure up to the type of man I'm talking about. And three, at the end of the day, you know you don't have a chance. So you ain't got no other choice but to act like, oh, I don't want you anyways. A lot of people do that. They realize they're out the game and magically you're not that attractive to them. They realize you're unattainable and magically, I don't want her. She's not as pretty anymore. And it's like, who are you fooling? Who are you fooling? You're not fooling nobody, okay? You're not fooling nobody, baby. I just want women to wake up and realize that you're really selling yourself short. There's always, like, there's so much dicks in the world, sis. Like, you're gonna find the man that you're looking for. I promise you. Yeah, you might have to sift through the trash, the sea of garbage, because that exists. But... You're going to find the person that you're meant to be with. You're going to find the person that's going to worship the ground you walk on. You're going to find the person that's not necessarily going to be a yes man. Because that's the thing. That's another thing too. They, they confuse a woman knowing her worth with a woman wanting a yes man. And it's like, no, I don't want a yes man. I'm telling you right now. I don't want a yes man. Because the moment I realize that I can get away with Tom, Dick, and Harry with you, I'm going to take advantage of you. And I feel like that's 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 across the board. Everybody do that. Like everybody tests people. Men test women all the time. They test you on their stand on your standards. They'll offer you something that they know is audacious. Just see if you would if you would cave. And it's the same way. Women need to start testing these dudes. Like you need to start testing these dudes the same way they're testing you, sis. Trust me. Them dudes be knowing how to treat women because they treat different women differently. They get with completely different women and finally understand that they can't do X, Y, and Z. Why is that? Why is that? 
It's because they know this type of woman and this type of behavior won't fly with this caliber of woman. So again, they pick you, the low hanging fruit to abuse and get what they can get out of you. And then when they're done with that, they go find a high caliber woman that they know isn't gonna put up with their bullshit and they don't even try her because they just know. She just exudes that aura of, listen, you're gonna either do X, Y, and Z or you're out of here. So they don't even try with the standard shit. They know exactly who they can come around with when it comes to certain things. And I need y'all to get y'all standards up and level up to the point where them dudes aren't trying you, bro. They're not trying you. And especially for my dark skin ladies, like y'all really need to get all the way up. All, all the way up. Because as is, people already expect y'all standards to be dirt, dirt cheap. People already expect our standards to be hella low. So even more even more now you got to act up because they're already out the gate they're already expecting you to not know your worth so now you got to really show them like no i know my worth these are my requirements if you want to be with me and if you can't make that then you know what there's somebody else that will simple as that i need y'all to raise y'all standards point blank period the shit is getting audacious to the point where these guys feel like it is really okay to be out here just treating y'all any types of way and wanting you to accept any type of treatment like i really need y'all to get it together like for real for real Ooh, this son is like trying to kill me because <laughs> i'm like under a tree but anyways that's all i wanted to say i just really want us ladies to set set your rules set your rules and stick to it set your rules set your standards and stick to it don't let anyone tell you that your standards are too high even them little pick me ass bitches that you call your friends that's another thing if you're on your level of journey you need to you need to drop them little friends that get in your ear and tell you oh girl you asking for a lot that's crazy Oh, that's, that's a lot of money. It's like, okay, just because you don't value yourself doesn't mean I don't need to value myself, sis. Like, that's the difference between you and me. That's why my life is this way and your life is that way. No tea, no shade. So, yes, that's all I wanted to say. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Um, until then, stay blessed. Mwah. Bye.